Hi everyone, uh, my name is Eduardo. I, in a volunteer capacity, am, have the pleasure of being a part of Ostia Oceania, which is the local chapter for OpenStreetMap and also for Ozgeo in Oceania. Uh, and so this is something that's kind of been brewing since 2018. Uh, we established it in 2019. And so I just want to tell you a bit about the story behind it, why we went to the trouble of creating a, an actual entity in the region, some of the successes we've had along the way, some of the challenges. Uh, we also have Lani in the room, who's a really important member of the community, and Alex, who's just stepped through the door. And uh, just wanted to get the conversation going about the different challenges that, that entities uh, built around OpenStreetMap and OzGeo face. But the reason we started it was because we wanted to have a conference. A bunch of us were talking about maybe getting together and having a conference dedicated to FOSS, but also OpenStreetMap. And so we put together, together this event in 2018 in Melbourne, and it was a big success. We made money, uh, we realized we needed to sort out a bank account and distribution of the money, and so then all the less fun work started, which was the paperwork behind establishing an entity. But Melbourne was a lot of fun, um, and we realized this was something we wanted to do every year. We had a lot of momentum. There were a lot of people in the community who were keen on, on doing future conferences like the ones you're here at today. And so we started planning for the future. Um, it's been, we've had some successes along the way. We've had in-person conferences every year since 2018. Despite COVID, we managed to find a way. Um, so I'll talk a bit about that. Um, we've had really diverse representation from across the region, which is super cool. Uh, we have a lot of different countries represented in Oceania, like from super large countries like Australia, which kind of dominate from a population point of view, and then New Zealand through to countries with 100,000 people. Uh, so it can be very hard getting people from one part of the region to the other, but we try to support that with travel grants. And we also just distribute money, which is, is kind of one of the main reasons for us helping is to support events that people might want to put on in the region. Uh, that's actually one of the things we struggle with, though, is like getting money out enough. Um, so we, if you have good projects in Oceania that could need support, we're here to help. So this was just a cool map I wanted to share. This is the 2019 conference. Uh, Alex, do you know who put this one together? Um, Peking, was it? Yeah. yeah, super awesome cartographer. Just showing like the range of uh, people attending the Wellington conference. So pretty amazing for a conference all the way in New Zealand. People came from a long way, like Serbia, United States, but then Pacific Island countries throughout the region as well. And so in, in terms of COVID, we, we wanted to keep the conference going. And it was originally going to be in Suva, but that obviously didn't happen. And not at least in a big way. People couldn't travel across the region. So we developed this like hub model where local chapters would put together, uh, or like smaller groups would put together a conference. And this, this was actually a really successful model in 2020. So we had one in Melbourne. We had one in Perth. There were events in Cairns, Apia. And this is something that we, we've started to replicate it again. We, we did it last year. It was a really good way to keep the momentum going at a time when people couldn't really meet in large groups. Um, so we're just doing the smaller model. But some of the, in terms of some of the challenges, one that comes up often, uh, as Alex would know, uh, and probably Lani as well, being, being big parts of the community, is there's often a tension between the open source side of things and when you try to just do things as efficiently as you can. Um, the, the two are not always in a symbiotic relationship, unfortunately. So sometimes we'll jump on Slack to discuss things. Sometimes we're on Facebook to, to engage a particular group that happens to be on Facebook. And that can create tension in the community when, when people are like, why don't you use the mailing list? Like they're much better. But as some of you here might know, the mailing lists are not always good for engaging a wider group of people. So I, I found that an interesting challenge to navigate, uh, frustrating challenge to navigate sometimes when, when people, you know, uh, are feeling a bit antagonistic towards you trying to use different, um, less open platforms. So th there's a really interesting balance in open source. And I think it's a philosophy that like I've been trying to get people's perspectives on uh, at this conference. Volunteer burnout is another thing. Like we have members of the board who've been there for a long time, but other people who just step away um, completely. It seems to be a common trend. They get really involved, they organize a conference, and then you never hear from them again because they're just so burnt out. So we're trying to find a way to navigate that. Here are some of the stats behind our organization at the moment. Um, pretty proud of just how, how diverse it is. 
Another thing we need to balance is kind of being supportive and not um, directing. So that's that's something we're trying to navigate. It's like we're not a peak body, we're not a standards body, we're not an allocator of work, but we're here to find other people who know what they want to do and just need maybe financial resources or a chance to come together. So that's it from me. Um, if you want to hear more or if you actually want to get more engaged with our region, we have an event 28th of uh, November to the 2nd of December. It actually is happening in Suva like we had planned all along. Lani up the back will be able to tell you a lot more about it, but we would love to see you there. We want to have a map that's as incredible as the one I showed you from 2019. Um, so yeah, hope to see you there. But uh, have a great conference. Um, it's come to an end. Uh, so thanks for everything. And I guess we've got to go to the last session now, right? Yep, exactly. Th thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We are finished.